John, after a, a lengthy debrief, um, what's your summation of the 90 minutes today? Uh, we're very unhappy, very unhappy. Performance wasn't anywhere near the level of what we are, what we need. You know, what we need if we're going to try and compete at the top end of the table. Performance was nowhere near it, absolutely nowhere near it. Uh, really, really disappointed, angry, annoyed uh, with that level of performance. Although, you know, we did go ahead, I didn't think we were playing particularly well. I thought we had kept the ball well enough in our build-up, coming out from the goalkeeper and going across the back. But we're not an awful lot of uh, entries into the sort of final third to, to create opportunities. So that would have been something that we would really hope to try to, to do better. We, we passed the ball about. Uh, we didn't trouble their goalkeeper too much. Jimmy Gillan had a shot in about four minutes, which was block, blocked and uh, it went out for a corner kick. And then the next time, we'd probably be in the 41st minute, 42nd minute, when we actually got the goal, uh, which Ben Williamson did extremely well. And uh, obviously, Ringan Tumulty tapped in at the back post. So we got ourselves in a really nice position, which we didn't manage to hold on to very long into the second half. Within two minutes, it's one each. 11 them to get their tails up uh, and have even more to fight for. The response is disappointing. The response from our, from our team was disappointing that we couldn't really rally round and uh, you know produce something that was going to win the game. You know we huffed and puffed, which is disappointing. Did we win enough individual battles? No, we didn't. We didn't. Again, that's really extremely disappointing. That if you don't show the character to to win your individual battles, then you're going to have to defend. And if you don't defend properly, you'll lose goals. And that's what we've done. Uh, silly challenge at the penalty. You know, from what I can gather, you know, you, you can't make that challenge there at that moment in time. You can't go through the player to get to the ball, uh, and of course, then with a little rally towards the end, a few corner kicks. If one a little break of the ball here or there, we may have got something from it. But overall, did we deserve it? Probably not. Probably not. So, a harsh lesson. Uh, you know, our both deserved their win. They competed better. And of course, that is really quite a sad indictment that when you know you're you're getting beat because the opposition have competed better. We should be competing, you know, for the first minute to the last minute, and we should not be uh, having too many second prizes in a game like that. You know, you've got to you've got to be winners, and unfortunately, we didn't have enough winners. General sense is that it's very dis that very frustrating for you personally and, and the entire coach itself. What would you say to supporters who were frustrated by that outcome? Yeah, of course, we're all frustrated. We're really frustrated. Yeah, no, the performance wasn't good enough. Absolutely not good enough. Not 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 by a long shot. I mean, we've got aspirations to try and compete at the top, and I do mean you know for for the title. I mean, we're thrown away. We're absolutely thrown away with performances like that, and we can kid ourselves on. We talk about it, and that's what we've done there for a considerable amount of time. Uh, but you get between three o'clock and five o'clock on a Saturday to deliver. That's when you do your talking, you know, on the pitch. And we, so far, we've been we've done really, really well. A number of things going well for us in the early part of the season. We're going through a little sticky patch right now, where we need to roll our sleeves up and go and do a little bit extra. Unfortunately, you know, we were only prepared today to actually compete against the opposition, and. As I said there, they will then have to defend well and you'll need to rely on your goalkeeper. And, you know, we didn't defend well and we leave the goalkeeper, you know, having to say penalties, which isn't very easy. Finally, John, um, moment of concern when Christoph had to go off. What's the initial initial diagnosis on, on him? Yeah, he, he, uh, he was feeling dizzy at that moment in time. It was the first kind of like, we'd heard of it. You know, he didn't say, didn't say anything at half time. You know, we weren't at half time, we are just out, you know, no long after into the second half and he and he's came off there. Uh, so I don't I don't exactly know. It might well have been he took a clash within the first minute of the game. And I don't know if that was the one or not. Uh, but you know he's he's okay. He's okay. But at that moment in time he was dizzy he had to come off obviously. Which is a blow. It's a blow to lose Christoph because he's such a big player for us as we've seen in recent games when he's not been there, we've not done so well and again maybe him going off uh, had an effect but you know, we need bigger characters on the pitch than that. They can stand up and be counted when we lose someone like Christoph. Uh, we were always going to change the formation. It was just a matter of uh, roughly at that time we were going to take a centre back off and go to you know uh, 4-3-3. You know, we had been playing 3-5-2. We, we, we went to 4-3-3. Uh, 
so it made the decision very easy with regards to who were taken off and then we've changed the formation again to go 4-2-3-1 which is something that we uh, when we're at our best we can kind of, like, play our best football in that kind of formation and although again I would suggest it was more huffing and puffing than you know being uh, really constructed and positive with, with a purpose with a commitment uh, so again having changed formation changed personnel you know the end product was was much the same. Finally, John, and I'll let you away after this. Um, after a result like that, you know what's required uh, for the rest you know, for the next game. So the hard work starts again Monday morning, or possibly even tomorrow. Yeah, we're in tomorrow now. We're no standing for that, you know. Uh, can you stand for that kind of performance? Uh, yeah, we need to buckle down. We've got a Scottish Cup tie next week, so the business is put on the back burner. We need to make sure that we go to, uh, up to Aberdeen and uh, make sure we've got. The right mentality, you know, because if you're going to show people that you're a soft touch, then everyone will get, you know, take a hold of it. So we need to, we need to start to fight for, for each other a lot more than we did today. Thanks, Rajon. Right, cheers.